hi guys welcome to my channel this is queen lizzie word and in here we talk about all things faith relationship and lifestyle if you're a new subscriber thanks for subscribing to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thanks for always coming back you are welcome again <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please now subscribe to my channel please <laughs> So in this video, I will share with you guys African superstitions <laughs> that I grew up with and some of them I actually believed. In fact, unconsciously, I still believe some of them, unfortunately. Like, <laughs> thinking about it sometimes is so fun and I'm going to be giving you guys each of them and I'm going to tell you why I feel like I'm still into those superstitions even though... <clears throat> They don't exist. I don't think so. <laughs> so, if this is what you are interested in, please keep watching. <laughs> the sky gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the. So, there was one superstition that I grew up with that my siblings always do to me is um, it's actually coconut water. I'm gonna put it right here for you guys. I'm gonna put every of these things right here for you guys so that you get what I'm talking about. You know, coconut water. So there is that time that when they break coconut, not like the, the real coconut, they break it. The water that comes out, the water inside, they will tell me. So when they want to drink it, I'm always like struggling with them that they should give me some. And they tell me that no, if you drink it, you're not gonna be smart. What? What? And because I want to be smart, I just leave them be. And guess what? They will drink it. <laughs> they need to watch this video. They will drink it, but they will stop me and tell me because they want to enjoy it. Guys, they tell me if you drink it, you're not going to be smart. Well, don't try it. They are on road. I will need them to drink it. Uh -uh. So you, you do want to be smart. <laughs> so I tell you, so you do want to be smart. Okay, drink it over. I do want. I'm not interested. So I will drink it. So that's my number one superstition. Please, even I drink coconut water a lot these days, and sure, I'm so smart. Please, and so I don't even know where they got out from. But it's funny that they have to make me go through that. <laughs> number two superstition they make me believe is actually doodles. I'm gonna put it right here for you guys. Doodles. So you know how doodles is like when you when you kind of cook your doodles, it's kind of like it's like it looks like a worm, like worm. I was trying to look for the picture of that worm TMI. It might be TMI for some people. I'm gonna try to put the picture right here for you guys. So it's kind of like coy, like you know, like round, like the skull. So it looks like a worm, which they know that I ate worm. Like ha, it ain't my friend. I, I I you know when you eat too much of sugar, like a lot of sugar, it can come out from your parts. So <laughs> I, I hate doing that. So they'll tell me that. So when they cook noodles, then they'll tell me, oh, I'll say you should give me some. They'll say they're not ah. If you eat it, you're gonna worm is gonna come out from your private part. And I'm like, really? I will not, guys. I yes of my life. I'm not joking. I want to say maybe till I was like going getting into college that I realized that they were actually just jokers. <laughs> Yes, then me, I, I, I deprived that enjoyment that they were enjoying. And they will keep cooking it in the house. They will keep eating it all. This, this is my twins, the, my sisters, my immediate elder sister, they are twins. Both of them are both female. These two people, <laughs> they will be eating it in my... They will be eating the noodles in my present. I won't even find them because I'm like, ah, no, I don't want to want more. <laughs> They bought it something. I'm like, I just feel cheated by them. But anyway, what do you expect? <laughs> I'm the last one, so they use that. They use that on me so that they can enjoy their food. <laughs> so the about three things that I want to superstitious that they always tell us that is when a woman is pregnant and and you are sitting down on the floor, then you stretch your legs, and any child that crosses it. Your, the child you are going to give birth to is going to act like that child that crossed your legs. <laughs> and this one is like, what? Yep, what? Guys, let me say that again. The superstition is that when a woman is pregnant 
and she sits on the floor me her two legs stretched then a little child or anybody not even an adult anybody that crosses a leg maybe when the person is just walking and the person crosses her leg that child that the, the, the woman is carrying is going to act like that person that crosses the woman's leg while she was pregnant <laughs> well i don't know that is that's another superstition <laughs> there's nothing we're not going to hear in this life that's another superstition again that i grew up with that they always say so i know when i was praying for my daughter and my son like oh i'm going to be careful of how i sit i don't want to sit on the floor i don't want to can you imagine that i could see people out that kind of business after many years of my life goodness <laughs> which brings me to my next point another one they say is a woman that is pregnant and shouldn't wash dishes or sweep the floor at night because if she does that that she's most likely to go into labor even when she's not even like in her due date yet like she's not even close to her due date and she does that that she might go into uh pretend labor if she she sweeps the floor at night at night and she watches she, she, she washes the dishes at night that she's most likely to go into labor <laughs> I'm laughing because for my 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 children, I do dishes at night. In fact, especially for my daughter, because now I have a son and I like him to sleep. When I when he sleep, when my son is sleeping, is when I want to clean the house. I want to do everything. I want to go when he's awake. I I can't I can't be working and be screaming at the same time. Nah, I don't I don't I ain't got energy for all that. <laughs> so I love when he's sleeping. Then I get up. And I clean the house hey, at night, do my dishes, clean my kitchen, leave everything all clean. Then go to bed and wake up in the morning with a very nice environment. That is what I love to do. I don't know about somebody else, but say waking up in the morning and be doing all that with a toddler. <laughs> I ain't ready for all that. <laughs> so I make sure that I'm done at night. So everybody that wakes up in the morning, we all wake up to a very beautiful and clean environment. So I do it at night, guys. I didn't go into any pretend labor. I don't even know when. Like, how do they even get all this? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Another thing, another superstition that I grew up with is, you know, broom. They say that when you use broom to eat a boy, that his pee-pee is going to fly inside. <laughs> well, I have a son, but I, he's even... Like it doesn't even I don't think it's even a good thing to even do that to a child, you know. With broom, come on, I don't think that's even right to even touch a child, you know. I mean like there are better ways you can communicate with a child when you're doing something that is wrong. But broom to now beat a child with broom, then the child's pee pee goes in. Like where on earth did that even come from? Woo 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 <laughs> Who even, who even, this theory that I'm mentioning now, who created them? To be honest, I, 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 and it's so funny that, unfortunately, it's still in our head, even to, like, there's some of us that, that grew up in Africa, like, it's still in our head that we still believe in stuff like that, like, oh my goodness, I mean, if I do this thing, I'm going to be, I'm going to, you're going to go pee, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, my child pee pee, you know, go inside, I can like, they see that consciousness in so many mothers today, well, I don't even use broom in this country, I am, I use something else to even, you know, to even sweep, you right, but like for Africans now that they, they still use a broom to sweep, so, <laughs> in that place, a broom to beat a child and the pee pee will go inside. Anyway, let's go to our next point. Another was superstition that I also grew up with is you know this lizard, lizard. They say that if you kill a lizard, no matter how old you are, you're gonna be peeing. You're gonna be, you're gonna be peeing on the bed when you sleep. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna be peeing on the, uh, you're gonna pee on the bed, guys. <laughs> Even when I was in college, I was still lizard. And I'm like, I will tell people, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. They will say, why? I'm like, ah, you're going to pee on the bed, you're going to pee on the bed. And they're like, you're going to pee on the bed? So you're going to let the lizard go? You tell me, girl, go sit down. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? 
Like it's so fun. And that's why I say that even some of these superstitions unconsciously it's it kind of even that when I'm drinking coconut water, I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna say I'm like ah, ah come on girl, you are too grown for this. Then I'll just kind of snap out of it. But sometimes I actually find myself in the situation of actually thinking that, oh my goodness, you should have not done something that is wrong. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my So I'm gonna give you one more. It's a lot of them. I'm gonna give you one more. And guys, if you are interested to know more of these superstitions, let me know in the comment section below and definitely I'll bring them up to you because if I start mentioning them, it's a lot of them. So let me mention one or more more for you guys. You know when a woman is pregnant and she they they will they will, they will tell her to use pin, you know, pin on her belly, you know, just to avoid, you know, to avoid evil spirits that the, the, the pin she you have to put the pin on her belly so that it, it can I, she can sell um, like, like it's gonna prevent evil spirit from coming close to her or something like under the sun like something like that i i i i i'm, I'm like you know what whatever my 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 son and my daughter i didn't use no pin on me i don't know so but you know it is what it is you know people with different beliefs and you know what they think so guys, that's the video I have for you guys today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please, please share my video. Share this video. Let, let's make people laugh because these passages are really, really funny. And you'll be surprised how many people are still, they still believe in that kind of thing. Like in Africa, like they still exist. Okay, unfortunately. So let's share this video out to people to make one or two persons laugh. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And as usual, I leave you all in the hand of Almighty God. Thank you for always coming to watch a girl. God bless you. Bye. <laughs> Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night.